Hi there. So uh, in this video what we're going to do is look at how we could add trees and also trees with colliders. Now uh, I've just in my standard assets folder here um, I have already imported the tree creator uh, package. If you don't have the tree creator package or that folder there and you start inside standard assets just go to the assets menu at the top here choose import package and tree creator and go ahead and import all those assets and uh, what we're going to do is once that happens once you've got that just go into the trees folder here and just drag the big tree into your scene and I'll just show you here what happens now if I play the game um, there it is the tree looks great casting shadows but unfortunately I can walk right through it so it has no collider so what we need to do is we need to add some kind of collider to this so that when our character controller interacts with it, it will uh, not be able to pass through it like that. So what we'll do is I'm just going to choose the big tree here in my hierarchy. You can see I've added it and I have it selected. And over in the inspector, what I'm going to do is I am going to add a new component to it. So if I click on add component and under physics, I'm going to add a capsule collider. And so once I've got this capsule collider added, you can see you get this green mesh around the outside. Now that is the collider. So right now, our character would not be able to get within a few meters of the trunk of this tree, which clearly is not quite right. So what we do over here in our um, inspector, where I have my capsule collider, you can see I have the radius set up in the center. Um, I can just type in a new radius, but it's actually slightly easier to move your cursor to the left of that text field and you can see there uh, you get two white arrows. What I'm going to do is just click and drag to my left to make it smaller and repeat and you can see on the screen it gets smaller and smaller until it seems about the right size, about the size of the trunk. Okay. Now you notice it's not quite centered so what I need to do is change the X and the Z coordinates and I'll do that exactly the same way. I'm just going to move my cursor to the left of the box with the numbers that way I can click and drag and then I, that way I get instant visual feedback. So I'm just going to play around with the X and Z coordinates until I think I've got it roughly centered. Now you can see when I go to the side I completely got that wrong. So let's just put that in the right position. Okay, so that seems to be a little bit better. Oh, not there. So there's a bit of trial and error here as you can see. But keep moving that around until you think you've got the collider around the trunk. Okay, so once you're happy with it, you can obviously test that in game. So just play the game uh, and try and run through the tree, and you should find that you stop before you can, which is great. Um, and what we'll do now is we're going to set up a new prefab to put this new object, this tree with a collider. We're going to set that up as its own special object here in our project folder and that way we can then paint forests on later on. So over here in the same folder as my trees, I'm going to right click, choose create, and I'm going to choose a new prefab. And that'll come up as a uh, white cube and you can see it's called new prefab. I'm going to call this one big tree collider. Quite useful just to give it a name that is very clear as to what it is. And then right now it's still empty, so what we'll do is we'll go to our hierarchy, click on the big tree and just drag it onto that new prefab and you can see the prefab now contains the tree, all its information as well as the collider that we just added. So you can get rid of the big tree from your hierarchy and now we're ready to paint this on. So I'll just zoom out a bit here to give us some space. Uh, select your terrain and to, to place trees over here in the inspector um, this button with the two trees, that is the place trees option and you can see right now there are no trees defined for us to place. So what we do is we go edit trees, add, and we just go and choose the tree we want. Now, ordinarily it would just be big tree there. I'm going to choose the big tree collider because that's the one that has the collider. Um, the bend factor refers to how much the tree will bend in a wind. So I'm just going to give that a bend factor of about one. So at least it'll move in a breeze and be a little more realistic than just sitting there um, unmoving. So just click add and you see your tree will appear over here in the inspector. So now you're ready to place it. 
Now, when you go to place it, obviously you get a very large brush by default. You can change over here on the inspector the brush size and the density of the trees being packed in. Uh, you can change the standard tree height, the amount of variation, which is good because you definitely don't want all the trees to be exactly the same height, uh, possibly with the width as well. So once you've got those settings and just feel free to play around with them, you can just click to place. Now that's not placing many at all, so let's increase the density. There we go. Okay, so we're starting to get a few more trees coming in. Um, if I play the game, here they all are, and I should now not be able to run through any of them because they all have colliders on them. And finally, if you want to get rid of trees that you've placed, the easiest thing to do is select the tree there, hold down shift on the keyboard, and now when you click, it will remove them. And that's everything. Thank you.